right, who knows when this video is going to come out, but today is October 30th, 2022. We are one day before Halloween. And we've had some really nice fall adventures. Not quite as many as I would have liked, but some good ones. And then I realized we haven't had a proper Halloween themed vlog yet. And by the way, we are entering Union Grove, Wisconsin. There is a big racetrack in this town. I used to frequent with my parents quite often as a kid. So I got one day left pretty much to get a Halloween vlog on this channel. Yeah, we still have fall for another month or so, but we need to get something Halloween in tonight. <laughs> and I realized I haven't added anything to my Racine County playlist in a while. So I'm like, hey, can we get two birds with one stone? So I happened to look up a place that I've been wanting to visit for a couple years now. So I look it up and realize today is the last day that they have a pumpkin walk. So we are headed to Racine. And this, folks, is what we call a sneak peek. At the corner of Maine and Gold in Racine, Wisconsin. You may have already guessed it. Welcome to Jack-O-Lantern Nights at the Racine Zoo. And something tells me we're in for a pleasant experience. All right, let's do this thing. I guess we gotta start out at the gift shop, right? <laughs> I will definitely be picking up something here. Hopefully at least a magnet. Oh, these guys are cute too. Alright, we are in. I didn't see a bandit, but we'll come back before we leave and pick up something anyway. Yeah, so far, first impression is very good. I didn't realize that there were going to be this many lights. <laughs> so I'm pretty happy so far. Now this is a smaller community zoo, it's not a Brookfield, it's not a Milwaukee Zoo, but that is also what has intrigued me about this zoo for a while, and why I've been wanting to check it out, hopefully bring the rest of my family someday. Uh oh, it looks like we've entered the spider's web. And this is really cool. A fire pit community gathering area right next to the jungle grill. All right, so I guess yeah, we have to head this way. Yeah. Here's our pumpkin patch, I guess. <laughs> Ten 
ten dollars for adult admission. Yeah, so they have a little grill inside here. This is pretty cute. Now I grew up very close to Brookfield. I went there a lot. <laughs> That's not an understatement as a kid. But there is something very charming about these little community zoos. There's not too many in our area. And there is zoo stuff here, even though we won't be able to really check it out tonight, but we will definitely be back. I am kind of hoping for summer 2023. That is my goal, to finally get back here during the daytime. Uh-oh, scary music, folks. But it is indeed a pumpkin walk. Just with a lot more lights than I was expecting. Another tractor, this one being driven by a skeleton. Another tractor. Yeah, they had like they had like percent alcohol. But they had a lot of sugar in them. Maybe there's some tractor industry history in Racine? Something I probably should know, but I have no idea. If Adam the Woo was here, he would say classic truck alert. music and a haunted house. Another fire pit gathering area. Snacks, beverages, and an ATM. Haunted graveyard. Call Sun Realty Group if you're interested in buying this property. To those that work in anchors, and not in ours, we thank you. Even though we are very deep into the city of Racine, we're actually very close to the lakefront. This is farm country out here. I'm not sure what to say about this one, but isn't there a saying about death and taxes? What do you think?
collection. Can't head over there, but it does appear to be some sort of a pond. We will definitely check this out more when we're back in the daytime. Creepy looking building here, but it's actually just part of the zoo. And we get a little better look at the pond here. And this is indeed a zoo. Here's an animal cage. <laughs> sure, everybody's sleeping right now. I haven't seen any animals as of yet. The black handed spider monkey. And I think we may have done the whole thing. We're back at the original fire pit area and the pumpkin patch. Alright, not too bad. Again, this is not a large zoo, so the size of this display is about what I expected. Yeah, I'm very pleased with this event, though. There's a lot of pluses, especially for families with young kids. The admission price is very reasonable. It's not a ton of walking. And I really like the amount of lights. And definitely nothing that I think would scare even the youngest of children, so very family friendly. Yeah, so this is what I think is their only inside exhibit. Again, this is a small zoo. <laughs> what we saw from the other side, the scary looking building, appears to be some animal displays in here too. <laughs> now, obviously Brookfield Zoo is experienced like none other. And I'm not just saying that because I grew up in the area. I have a lot of connection to it, even though I haven't been there in a long time. It really is one of the best zoos in the area. But Brookfield can be very overwhelming as well. The admission, parking prices, the amount of walking you have to do there. That is why these community zoos are very important as well. There is nothing really close to a community zoo near McHenry. There's like a petting zoo, I think, somewhere down Randall Road. Closer to like the Algonquin area. I'm definitely researching that place and I'm sure I'm gonna vlog it at some point in time. This was about an hour and 15 minutes away from McHenry. So this may be the closest small zoo to me. Not really sure. Not gonna go to sleep right now. Well, we definitely cut it close to the last minute, but we got one Halloween vlog in here for 2022. And even though the leaves are definitely falling, fall is not over yet. We get some reasonable days, kind of like tonight. We will definitely go for some more fall nature walks. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Happy Halloween and thank you for watching. Look what I found.
Now which one will I choose? I'm not really a big fan of bats or snakes, so I think we're gonna go with the bear. Yeah, this will work. Maybe I'll wait till I come back here with the girls and let them pick out some of these stuffed animals. And unlike Brookfield, free parking. Of course, you got street parking all over the place. The official zoo parking lots are one block over where I am. There's also a couple parking lots closer to the lake. The Cream Brick Cottages. It's very interesting to see a Wisconsin historical marker here.